What's up, guys? Ian with Ian Blue Music here. Today, I'm going to be comparing two very popular plugins, Melodyne and Waves Tune. Let's get into it. All right, so I've made this video a bunch of times, and it always gets a little too messy because there's so many details about both of these plugins. It's really hard to just make a concise video, but I'm going to try my best. First up, I'm going to just tell you my thoughts on the two plugins. Then we're going to jump into a project, and I'm actually going to show you what they look like and how they work. The question you're probably asking if you're on this video is, do I need to spend $300 for Melodyne, the industry standard, the best sounding manual pitch correction software on the market or can I save a ton of money and spend like 45 bucks on Waves Tune depending on what sale Waves is running that day but if you want the best vocals possible in the end you're going to be buying Melodyne that's just the way it is they sound better the algorithm to tune sounds cleaner more natural more full there's a richness to it that Waves Tune kind of loses it actually kind of flattens it out Waves Tune which can be cool if you've got really harsh vocals that'll like smooth it out in some way not in the tune or the dynamics just in some some of the characteristics of the vocal quality anyway this is what i mean where it gets really confusing because the differences between these two plugins are so subtle it's really hard to explain them because i can't really just show you you have to use them for a long time to hear the differences what i would say as a general rule is if you jump to waves tune you're going to be spending less and you're going to get more digital sound and that might be a good thing See, most people, if you're doing really high quality vocals, pop vocals, or like singer songwriter stuff, you don't want a digital sound to it. But if you're doing hip hop, if you're doing more experimental stuff, certain kinds of like EDM, you want that auto tune digital sound, and that's going to be like what you're going for. And in which case, Waves Tune might actually be easier to use and in the end sound better. I'll jump into this. Hopefully, you can follow along and see what I mean when I'm talking about. All right, so I got a project pulled up here in logic and if you're like i don't use logic then it doesn't really matter because it's going to be the same for fl studio or ableton pro tools whatever i have used both of these plugins in fl studio they work great some of the other vocals are tuned but the main ones aren't we don't got the time to just i'll play pitchy Let's go ahead and open up Melodyne. Melodyne's cool because they sound great, but the way this user interface works is actually kind of hard to work with. If you ever have to end up slicing notes, you get like this digital artifact that's hard to recover from, and you end up having to slice notes a lot because there's a lot of times that Melodyne will get the notes wrong, in my experience. So let's go ahead and jump to where these vocals have a lot of movement. So right off the bat, I can see a vocal there that needs slicing. That's supposed to go down a step there. And that actually slid pretty well. You can adjust the slide there a little bit. Sounds pretty natural. I'll actually go ahead and select everything and bring down that pitch modulation even further than I had it when I brought this up. There's another slice there that I'll need to work with. So it's soft, it's round, it's pretty natural sounding. That's just Melodyne. It sounds pretty good. And for this track, it kind of lends itself to it. But I could also go for a little bit of a more digital, distorted, auto tuny sound. I'm actually going to go ahead and max out the pitch drift and pitch modulation just so you can see how the tuning sounds when it's maxed out on Melodyne. A little bit of digital artifacts starting to come in there when we max it out, but still not bad. All right, Waves Tune. Let's see how that sounds. Not bad. It sounds a little cheaper somehow. It's hard to explain. Maybe it's just this user interface that looks like it's 20 years old that does it off a little bit, but... So that's with it maxed out. It doesn't sound bad. There's a little bit of a texture of digital auto tuneness that I hear, but like I like it. The cool thing also about Waves Tune is that it has these two settings that Melodyne really doesn't, and it's once this tolerance setting. If you turn it all the way down, it makes it really easy for the tuner to jump to new notes. 
which is great if you've got a lot of complicated notes that you want the tuner to hit. Now, if you've got longer notes like this song is, you can turn up that tolerance a ton and then it cancels out a lot of those accidental jumps in tuning. So check this out. It gets rid of a lot of those breaks, but also you have to kind of dial it in so that you're hitting all the right notes too. 30 is probably going to sound good. The other feature that's kind of nice is this draw line here. You can literally draw any line for the vocals. It doesn't really matter. It's crazy. Watch this. Just like terrible, you know. That's what those... Which doesn't sound good. I understand that. But there are some nice slides you can do, which are fun. I can do a nice slide there. I'll do a nice slide there. You'll hear those as we go over them. A lot of usability. You can basically just draw notes anywhere you want. So doesn't sound quite as good as Melodyne, but anything you want to do, you can do it in waves. So hopefully that wasn't super messy. If you have any specific questions, I'll actually, before I end this video, I'm going to say two things. One, I'm going to say subscribe because of a thousand subscribers, I get a chain. Two, I'm actually going to play a clip of vocals I tuned with Waves Tune. And you can hear kind of what those sound like and whether or not you think that's something you want to work with. Let's just play that clip. So if that sounded good to you, Waves Tune might be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, putting up with this kind of jumbled video, but I wanted to get this information out there because it's something that I've wanted to know for a long time and I eventually ended up getting Melodyne. I love it, but Waves Tune still good too, especially if you're just starting off. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Appreciate you so much. We'll see you next time.